Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel TechNet Guide. Friends, in this video, I am going to tell you how to install Palo Alto Firewall on VMware. So, and friends, after installation, I will show you how to set up make connectivity with this, okay, in VMware. So you can see this is my management interface here. This one will be DMZ, okay, and this is my LAN interface. So after installation, we'll show you how to make connectivity like this. Okay, so let's say start first installation. So friends, you can see this is my VMware workstation. First of all, you should have downloaded Palo Alto image. You can see I have already downloaded this over file. So let's let's create new virtual machine. I click on file then open over file. Just open here. You will create new VM PAVM. Okay. Now click on browse, select clear path where you want to install it. You will create new folder PA. Okay. Okay. Now it will import. Now click on import here. Okay. Now importing over file. Now you can see we have created here. Let's edit this virtual machine. Now we have to bridge this interface with my management interface. We have net 10. Okay. Then click on power on here. Now, friends, you can see it's getting installed on your VM. Okay. So, friends, you can see login prompt here. So, just uh, we can log in with default username, password, admin, and password will be admin. Now, friends, you can see PABM prompt here. Now, we can log in here, admin and default password admin and you can see we have logged in okay so now we'll check ip of so so interface management so you can see there is no ip on my management interface okay we don't have any ip so we can provide ip to management interface so so let's provide ip to access this firewall from gy and ssh first go to configure set device config system ip address 192.168.100.201 net mask 255.255.255.0 default gateway 192.168.100.1 now commit here now friends you can see commit successful so now we can access this firewall from gui okay so let's access https Now we can check here. Now we can check exit. Now exit here. So, so interface management. Okay, IP is not there. So, so friends, first, uh, first we have to set device type static IP. Okay, set device config system type static okay now set ip here default gateway now commit commit successful now check here go to exit now check ip on uh, so interface management so now you can see we have ip on the management interface okay now let's go to browser and access this 
100.201 dot two hundred one. Okay, IPO firewall. Now click on advance. Now click on accept and continue. So log in with your user ID and password. Admin, admin default user ID and password. Okay, you can change password here. Okay. So friends, you can see it's a dashboard of Palo Alto firewall. Let's see here device name PAVM management IP management default gateway. Okay. And version is software version 800. Okay. And the friends installation is done. Now we will configure its interface and we'll show you how to make connectivity like this. Okay. So how to make connectivity like this? So first of all, friends, you can see this is my VM here. Let's edit. So you can see we have only two interfaces. One is management and another interface we have. So let's add another one interface. Network adapter. Okay. Now friends, after adding this interface, what we have to do? We have to edit its BMX file. We have to go to this location where our VM installed. Palo Alto firewall installed here. Okay. Go there. Go to here. Okay. Click here and just go that location. Okay. Now you can see BMX file. Just right click and edit. So, friends, you can see it is zero. Virtual day is BMX net three. Okay. And here also BMX next three. But in this here, you can see here. E 1000 okay so we have to change with bmx3 just copy this just copy this and paste here okay now click on save okay now close this and reboot your firewall okay now power on your firewall then it will be started working okay so we have to make connectivity with like uh, eth1 ls1 okay eth1 ls1 will connect to windows server 1 okay friends eth1 ls1 will connect to pc1 eth1 ls2 will connect to pc2 so you can see I have Windows XP 1, Windows XP 2, okay, B, okay, so how we will connect, so we will bridge with ETH, this is my ETH 1 slash 1, so I will bridge with 1, BMNet 1 and ETH 2, ETH 1 slash 2 will connect with BMNet 2, okay, and to make connectivity with Windows A, Windows, so we have to put this, put this BMNet one, okay, and Windows XP one. Yeah, I have to put this BMNet two. You can see it's already in BMNet two, okay. So let's power on. So now we'll provide IP address of our Palo Alto firewall. You can see eth1 on the eth1 10.1.1.1 eth2 20.1 let's provide ip address of the firewall on the firewall here ip address of the firewall on the firewall here layer 3 interface okay ip origin 4 10.1.1.1 24 configure virtual router non default security zone new zone will create inside zone okay online okay so we have let's provide ip on this interface it is 2 will be layer 3 let's provide ip 
20.1.1.1/24 let's add junior default route let's add john create new john dmz okay so you can see you have added so we have created two interface john lan and dmz okay so now we have to provide IP address on our PC. First, provide to Windows One PC One. PC One IP will be ten dot two hundred ten. Okay. And PC Two IP exchange IP twenty dot. 20.1.1.10 20.gateway will be router firewall IP okay so friends I will create policy from LAN to DMZ okay LAN to DMZ will create policy let's create policy here go to policy just click on add and LAN to policy name DMZ okay source my LAN source zone will be LAN and source address let me create source address new address will create LAN 10.1.1.0 24 10.1.1.0 24 okay zero okay now click on OK. 10.1.0. Then destination user destination select zone DMZ and destination in subnet 20 subnet. We can put here 20. Create a new address for 20. DMZ 20. 1.1.0. Okay. 20.1.1.0 slash 24 will allow application any service URL any any <coughs> action allow logs okay click on okay now click on commit here now print commit successful now let's ping from go to PC1 and uh, go to command prompt ping 20.1.1.1.10. Okay, if not pinging. Now, friends, you can see we are able to ping here. Okay, means. Our traffic is working from from you can see source 10.1.1 destination 20.1.1.10. Let's check here source to destination flow one source here destination here and return traffic flow to destination to source. Okay, so friends, you can see how to install Palo Alto firewall on VMware and how. To set up it okay so so friends thanks for watching this video have a nice day in next video we'll see further configuration net ipsec uh, multiple things multi multiple lab will do okay in this series so thanks for watching this video have a nice day